Hey, folks, uh, I am so tickled anytime I get to talk with a Grammy-winning artist. We got a little bit of a Cajun music royalty on the phone today, Mr. Joel Saunier. How you doing, sir? I'm good. BMSC. Thank you. I've been practicing my French. This is Joel Saunier. Did I say is that good? <laughs> I say bien bon, so that sounds right. <laughs> Oh, this is a real pleasure for me. Thank you so much for uh, giving me a little time today. I know my listeners are big fans. As when I announced yesterday that you and I were going to be talking, my uh, my Facebook lit up. I've been playing your music all morning. <laughs> well, you know, I've been in this business for 61 years. I'm celebrating 61 years. I've been, you know, performing and making music and making records. I've recorded over 32 albums and played in all 50 states. And I, I can't thank enough all my fans and radio stations like you guys that supported me through all these years and, and able to continue doing my work, you know. You don't stop. I, I was doing my, my homework last night, and you, start, you, you started performing when you were like five years old. That's right. A radio station. I didn't know what radio station it was until I wound up at the KSIG in Crowley, a little 30 minute segment. I went over there with Mr. Alden Sonier, who allowed me to come and play my accordion, a couple of songs, and my dad would walk across the street. He'd get us some donuts, and then he'd drive me to school. I'm going to admit my ignorance here. What is the difference between a squeeze box and an accordion? Well, they call it a squeeze box in America. You know, I, I call it, you know, Cajun French accordion. I was thinking of Constantino because that's the first time when they asked me if they were looking for a Constantino player what to do with the thing with Hank Williams Jr. back in those days, a song called Norwegian Wood. Yeah. I told, and I told him on the phone that, that you know, that I didn't know a thing about a Constantino. I said, I played a French accordion, a Mamu Eric Presser, just to kind of make a joke, you know. Now is that Norwegian Wood? Is that the Beatles song, Norwegian Wood? Yeah, that's the one. Wow, yeah. I'm going to have to find that one. Yeah, and uh, that was the first time I was introduced, you know, to Hank. Williams Jr. Uh, that day, and of course, Cowboy uh, on the steel guitar, which uh, we go back almost 40 years now, and he's now the uh, band leader for Jamie Johnson's band, and, 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 and uh, we helped produce his records as well. And uh, so, it, you know, we kind of tie in right now with him and, and um, meeting him, and so it's good to go back to that, you know, that era. And, uh, you know, we both had something so much in common, you know, with the music and what I did, you know, Candy Accordion on No Reason the Woods. And, you know, the rest was history. You know, we did that with Hank Williams Jr. Yeah. Well, you must be uh, one of the nicest guys in the world because I've noticed a lot of different artists like to perform with you. They like to have you around. I, I think it's because I like their music as well, man. I, I love, the, you know, the stability. I like, you know, the originality. And and the more artists is more real, it's more comfortable for me, too. I find that I, I find myself, you know, on stage, you know, right there with harmony and then blend in to their, you know, accent of music. And that's what it is. I go for the journey because, you know, when I was on the road and performing as, as many uh, years and everything else, never had a chance to share the stage with many artists unless you're on a package show or something like that. So when you have some time off, get calls like Toby Key to come in and sit in with him and Jamie Johnson, uh, you know, the great Charlie Daniels, people like that, who still shows respect and acknowledgement to my work. It feels so good because, of, you know, it's support of even something within my legacy, and at the same time, I get to transcend, you know, with my instrument, you know, the accordion, playing with them, and in, in reading that together. And we become just a real family-oriented. That, that's what happens, you know. It, it, it would become... Uh, more in view of their um, music as well as mine. And uh, it shows that gratitude and respect to each other. Well, speaking of that, I, I just got a text from a friend of yours, T. Graham Brown. I interviewed him a couple of weeks ago, and I sent him a message this morning letting him know that I was going to be talking to you. And he, I didn't tell him I was on the phone because he wanted me to hug your neck. So uh, there's a hug from T. You know, T. Graham, like I say, he, he tell me that there's pretenders and contenders, and you say, well, as a contender. And that came from him, you know, uh, T. Graham. And of course, uh, we eventually put a show together. You know, we uh, on a package, you know, we call a heart and soul. And I said, well, you, I'm the heart, you're the soul. We do those shows together, but the main thing is he's genuine, he's the real deal, and uh, that's why we got on time. And going, you know, with John Snyder, you know, when John recorded I've Been Up to Know, you know, uh, that was uh, years later, you know, he recorded that as well. And you know, we became just friends to, to some 
and showed that uh, he came over and, and you know that he was in the audience. And I've known him on stage. And it was the first time that we sang the song in English, and I sang the song in French. And uh, how he got the song, and you know how he was inspired by it, the way I did the song. And, and he told me, he said, "Well, if I if I learned to do, if I could spoke French, I would have done it with the French uh, ending as I did it in those days." Because Rodriguez was hot. Using the Spanish. Well, Spanish isn't as smooth as French, though. French, that's a, that's smooth, man. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, Freddie Fender. We, can't, you know, we don't want to forget Freddie Fender. You know, Freddie, you know, came out with acknowledgement the next year, Drew Stowell. So there's so many people out there that I look up to. I carry all those memories and through all my shows, there are journeys, and and that's why I say, when, you know, when you go see Joel Sonia, you go and see a journey. Because I carry it within all my roots. I do my kids, I do my country, I do the songs that I've written and songs that I respect. I put food on my table. Over sixty years in the business, over thirty albums. That's right. You got nominated twice for a Grammy, and then you won. I sure did because of my fans and my, my family. God. You know, I prayed a lot. You know, like I said, it took a, a little song 15 years ago, just an idea from French. And I said, you need to get back in the studio and start doing some recording. And, of course, you know, with all the, you know, all the artists that they have today, and, you know, it's a whole different industry. It, it is. It's completely it's, different. The main thing, the fate and, and my musician friends, you know, they look up to me and tell me, say, you got one more in you. So I went to the studio and, and did the album, The Legacy. Got my Grammy 2015 and shared it to all my Louisiana people. And from this day, this is what I'm doing it for. Well, I think it's amazing that you, you won with the album Legacy. Fitting title for a fitting award for a fitting artist. You did go hang out in Nashville for a while and we're doing more of the straight country. Did you find it difficult going to Nashville and, and dealing with that crowd? Or are they different than what you were used to back home? Well, that's the thing was, you know, I was, you know, I, I already was something different. I knew that I was born, you know, you know, kind of autism. You know, I have hamburgers. So within all of that, being different, not all bad. And, you know, and, and I learned that lesson through the little book that my uh, sister-in-law wrote about me called uh, The Little Boy Under the Wagon. You know, from that, you know, it doesn't mention all that till the very end. But basically, uh, being different, it, it's not a bad thing. Unique, man. You are, your voice is so different than, I think that's one reason a lot of people like to have you singing with them. It's I appreciate that. I think that's the whole thing. With it. When I share the stage with me, they bring me on, you know, with respect to my work is a nice thing to do someone in lee's mother earth you know they have a chance to share that journey with you and makes it even more special and that's what happens when we go do the thing with john snyder and his camp and all the people they're so genuine they're family orientated there's so much activity going on the people are so real and so nice you know john might be walking around different places and he might right behind you back he's on it he's, <laughs> he's everywhere yeah he's everywhere because he cares you know he shows his, his appreciation to the people that come there acknowledge that it's very important Yes, sir. Well, we're talking about Bo's Extravaganza 2020. This is a big event that Bo, uh, John Schneider, Bo Duke, puts on over at his place. It's his birthday party. There's going to be three stages. Joel Saunier is going to be there, the Bellamy Brothers. Uh, of course, John's going to be performing. And there's going to be a lot of music, but it's also they're reenacting a jump from Smokey and the Bandit. There's going to be a parade of cars that, are, that look like the cars from the Dukes of Hazard. He's even going to be blowing up some outhouses with flaming arrows. That's what I'm, that's, that's the thing for everybody. I'm going to play a couple of your songs uh, right after this uh, interview. There's just an endless supply of your music. That is a legacy. I want to thank you for uh, sharing your talent and your art today, your time with me and my listeners. Okay, man. Thank you so very much. And that's just been a secret. God bless you all, you know, because I played up there many, many times up there, you know. And, and like I said, uh, Cowboys says hi to you. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't want to leave him out. Thank you again. Everybody, you need to go to his Facebook page. You can find him on Amazon, Spotify, of course on YouTube. Uh, he's still out there doing his thing. He's making music all the time. And he's an independent artist. And he's doing this himself. He's really out there working. And that's just a testament to his legacy. Oh, boy, merci. But merci. Me too. I'm 